Born in County Cork in 1921, Patrick Scott is now widely recognised as one of our greatest living artists. His work is instantly recognisable, especially for his use of gold leaf. Now at the age of 92, Patrick is as welcoming as ever in his busy Dublin studio, although talking about the work itself is, as ever, somewhat out of bounds. Thanks very much for doing this, guys. Pat, you're a largely self-taught artist. Do you yeah. remember in your childhood or your teens where you saw some art, you saw some work by an artist and thought, right, this, this is something I might want to do? I, I, I went to L London um, the day the war broke out. 1939, there was a big uh, a Cezanne exhibition on there, and uh, I was fascinated immediately by Cezanne. That's how I really got totally involved in, in art. At that stage, did it even occur to you that one day you could possibly be a professional artist, or was such an ambition completely unthinkable? It was regarded as unthinkable, yes. There was no way that one could earn one's living by being an artist. I never felt that as a hindrance or anything. I just went on. You spent a very long time in an architectural practice. I'm wondering, was that a fun time in your life or was it a time full of frustration because you wanted to be doing your own work? No, well, I, I, I worked with Ma Michael Scotts office, you know, and uh, we worked on very interesting buildings. Um, Basaurus was going on, uh, you, you know, and there was Four Provinces House. <laughs> and that's where I met Gold, actually. Oh, as early as that? Yes, that was where I met Gold, is yes. yeah. Michael said to me, would you ever colour in the arms of the four provinces? Uh, but it was a three-dimensional one on it, and part of it had to have gold leaf. So I had to buy a little book of gold leaf. I put one on the unprimed canvas that I was working on, and I thought that the gold on the canvas is just just perfect, I think. I think people think that that work began in the 60s, but this is a long time before that. Yes, yes, it must have been. That was when I got the gold leaf into my hand <laughs> for the first time. A lot has been written about the White Stag Group. You were there. Who were they and what were they about? Well, I met the White Stags very early on. Uh, when I was very young, I mean, I was, when I was 19, I, I just saw this sign up in Baggett Street saying White Stag Exhibition. So I, I, I went in to see it. Any of them that were there came over and chatted to me and, and asked me along to parties and things, you know. They kind of almost took me over. You know, I never officially belonged. I was certainly very involved with them. The art establishment at that time seems to have been very, very restrictive and they had a very clear idea of what qualified as art and what didn't. Well, they were they were kind they were kind of the, the uh, academicians say would have would have been time to sneer at them I think. You said once that you had no aim in your paintings except your own happiness that you had no desire to uh, explore great and deep truths or anything of that sort. Yes. I was just being, being led by my own feelings, really. You've said your intention was just to be uh, led and to do what you felt like doing, and yet you must be aware that people felt at the time, and still do, that your work is very spiritual. Well, that's kind of up to them. <laughs> <laughs>
Patrick, you've been, you've been working now for a very, very long time. And yeah. you have seen many fashions in art come and go. Yeah. You never paid the remotest bit of attention to what was in fashion, no. ever. I just went on doing what I wanted to do. Why do you not like talking about your work? Well, it's there, you know, yeah. and uh, it's there to be looked at. It's what, what I did and what I wanted to do. And uh, I have nothing more to say, really. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out,